In Jerusalem, National Security Advisor John Bolton said U.S. military withdrawal from Syria would happen only after ISIS is defeated and if Turkey would guarantee they would not try to destroy U.S.-trained Syrian Kurdish fighters. Bolton's comments contradicted Trump's initial announcement from December 19th, ordering an immediate withdrawal and declaring the U.S. had won against ISIS. At a cabinet meeting last week, Trump also contradicted his December announcement, stating, I never said fast or slow. Bolton also said the U.S. would absolutely assure the security of Israel and other regional allies. Bolton set to meet with officials in Turkey today. While at a joint news conference with Bolton, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called on the U.S. to recognize Israeli sovereignty over the occupied Golan Heights. We'll go up to uh, the Golan Heights, uh, again, depending on the weather. Uh, the Golan Heights is tremendously important for our security. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, when you're there, you'll be able to understand perfectly why we'll never leave the Golan Heights and why it's important for that all countries recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Israel annexed the Golan Heights in 1981 after capturing the territory from Syria during the 1967 war, but the international community does not recognize its sovereignty. In November, the U.S. said it planned to vote against a U.N. resolution calling for Israel to end its occupation of the Golan Heights. In